are, where are we dude? St. Bees. St. Bees. See Jim in the background. Yeah, St. Bees Beach. We've driven to, so five hours on the road tonight. Uh, Jim's driven all the way, so fair play to Jim. Anyway, we're here, we're on the beach. I don't know how well you can see this. Uh, not very. <laughs> uh, basically, we just wanted to come down and see how far away the shore was. Uh, see how far we've got to walk in the morning. Turns out we are literally parked right next to it. It's gonna take us less than five minutes to get here. So we're gonna go back and set up camp. Well, I say set up camp, we're, we're camping in a car overnight, so we're just gonna go and chill for a little bit. I mean, it's gone 11 o'clock now, but we went and chilled out in a pub for a little bit called, what was it, the Albert Hotel? But yeah, the Albert Hotel, we went and chilled out in that pub for a little bit. It was cool, some interesting characters in there. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go back to the car, chill out, probably watch some episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine or something, and get our heads down so that we can be up nice and early. Five o'clock get up, so see you in the morning. Very, very dark, very cold, very damp, and there really just didn't really seem like there was much to get up for. But the tide was all the way in last night, and we were stood back here, and the waves were tickling our toes. But this morning we've come down, and the tide's gone all the way out, and it's just left us with this absolutely gorgeous textures in the sand. There's a beautiful S bend in the river here that's flowing out into the open ocean. There's loads of rocks in the background here as well. So now it's just a case of finding Okay, so there's a little bit more light to play with now and I'm pretty sure I found an image that I'm happy with. I did just take another one, a little bit further back here, but I just wasn't happy with it. So I stood back, looked at it, and just wasn't really doing anything for me. However, the image that I am setting up now and capturing, uh, I want to do a focus stack, so I'm going to take three photos. The first photo is going to be focused right in the foreground. The second photo is going to be focused about a third of the way through the photo and then the third photo is going to be focused to infinity. So the composition that I've got is we've got this rock, this rock that's covered in green stuff, moss, seaweed, I'm not 100% sure but that's what we've got and it's just drawing our eyes into the image and you've got this pool in front of it which have just put a touch of polarization on so it's still reflecting the sky but it's just taking a little bit of glare off the rock and then you've got this formation of rocks in the background and there's some really wonderful colors in the sky they're very very subtle but there's some really nice colors in the sky so after we've got this shot i'm going to actually move closer down to the shore See if I can get some stuff right on the shoreline. First of all, I'm using a polarizer, touch of polarization. Uh, I've got a nine stop Lee Grad filter on here. I'm using a 16 to 35 mil lens. I'm zoomed in to about 20 mil. And then as far as the camera settings are concerned, we're down at ISO 100 with an aperture of 22 to try and get as much depth of field as possible. And then our shutter speed is eight seconds. There's no need for a little stopper or anything like that because eight seconds is plenty of time to get motion and smooth out the water and whatnot. So I'm gonna get this image and then we'll move down to the shoreline. Oh. 
Okay, so I don't know if you can actually see this, but we are just getting these, just these flourishes of color in the sky, and it's making me think that we might just get a little bit of light this morning. Everything in the weather forecast says no. And considering how wrong I was the last time I said about the light and the weather, everything's telling me that no, it's not gonna be, but I'm just seeing this contrast and color in the sky and it's just making me think, is it gonna pull through? Because it's not just one specific patch, look over here, look, little bit of color there, little bit of a gap in the cloud there. If the sun can just burn through enough to give us some awesome light on a composition, that would be incredible. Okay, so while Jim finishes up over there, I was gonna take a composition there as well, but I didn't really want to take exactly the same photo that Jim was taking, and he got a really nice photo of it anyway, so my first official Estbend River photo will have to come another day. I, however, am now gonna head over to, to these rocks over here because the waves are crashing up against them and I want to get a long exposure with a wide angle lens because I really think it looks cool. There's already a guy over there though, so, but he's not taking photos. Looks like he's collecting stuff. So that's where I'm headed to try and get a nice long exposure. You know where it's like you have rocks and because it's long exposure, it looks like there's mist rolling over the rocks. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm hoping to try and get anyway, so I'll have to, have to see what happens. Okay, this is proving to be really difficult because I'm fighting the tide like crazy. But I'm gonna try and get this image because I've just spent so long setting it up and it's actually a nice image. So, uh, I'm my exposure up a little bit. Push it down one more. Exposure up a little bit more, there we go. Okay, just to quickly run you through the settings. Whoa, I'll run you through the settings in a minute. <laughs> Okay, so unfortunately it looks like set out here to get like half an hour ago, but uh, it's all in the name of safety. Like Jim's just called me, he's a little bit further down the beach that way. And he's on these rocks as well. And, whoa. <laughs> and he's saying, you know, that he walked over on a certain patch of sand and that patch of sand has now disappeared. So, you know, the tide is coming in and we've got to be careful, don't want to, uh, go missing like Howard and Neighbours. But yeah, hang on a sec. It was cool, like I said, I, I, haven't, I haven't got the image that I wanted, but you know, there's always more opportunities. The light is dwindling. It just keeps on teasing us. It's like one minute, it's like, oh, hi. And the next minute it's like, yeah, screw you. I'm not coming out. So it really did look for a second this morning, like the sun was gonna be 
just powerful enough to maybe burn off a bit of the fog and the clouds, but it's just not quite managed to do it. So anyway, we're heading a bit further back up the beach now. It's a shame I didn't get the picture I wanted, but like I say, I'd rather come back with an image that is okay than a memory card floating up on a shore somewhere because I got washed out in the, uh, in the tide. <sighs> I don't think I could have picked a more awkward way to get back. Whoa. Literally had to stop and pack all my stuff away because I almost just slipped over back there. And my polarizer literally came that close to hitting a rock and smashing. And that's an expensive polarizer. I don't wanna be buying another one. Anyway. That was possibly the most difficult shoot I've ever done. Uh, my first one sort of shooting right on the shoreline and on rocks and Man, you know when people say that like tides move quickly and you sort of think, nah, how fast can it be? Fast, seriously fast. And I mean, it's like literally half the beach that we were shooting this morning is, is just disappeared. It's gone. Those rocks and everything. Yeah, the rocks and stuff that we shot earlier were over here and they've gone. And we literally, I think I spent, probably been upon those rocks for about half an hour. And it's that the tide has covered easily a 150 meter stretch of beach. So keep an eye on the tides if you're gonna do these kind of shoots. Do not, under any circumstances, Going up to Sprinkling Tarn this afternoon, and I cannot wait. I've been wanting to visit this location for about a year. We just not had a chance to. We were actually going to come up to the Lake District last month, but everything just got in the way, and we never ended up being able to come. But we made it. We're here. It's one shoot down. Let's see what the rest of the day has to offer.